Hello, listeners. This is Chad Oakley with Charles Aris. Uh, for those of you that I have not had a chance to meet yet, I have the honor and privilege of serving as the Chief Executive Officer of Charles Aris Executive Search. And today, I am very excited to talk about uh, the beginning of one of our newest divisions, Charles Aris Transaction Services. And we are very fortunate to have the Managing Director of Charles Aris Transaction Services, Sean Curley, with us. Uh, Sean, how are you, man? Great to see you. Happy Friday. I'm great. Uh, I'm, uh, thanks for having me, Chad. I appreciate it a lot. Absolutely. Uh, Sean, I will tell you, it is uh, March of 2023 uh, and uh, some pretty interesting times that we're experiencing in the marketplace right now, wouldn't you say? I would say, oh my gosh. Uh, but, you know, I feel like we're, we're always in uh, interesting times. Couldn't agree more. Um, Sean, uh, I want to get into that here in just one second as we uh, as we go through this discussion. But, you know, first and foremost, why don't you start by just telling the listeners a little bit about yourself? Sure, Chad, I'd love to. Um, before joining Charles Aris, I was primarily an operator um, running a few different uh, businesses in the U.S., in Canada and in Europe. Uh, before that, I spent uh, a lot of my career in sales and marketing roles, uh, as well as operations roles. And along the way, I've both bought and sold uh, businesses and uh, integrated a bunch of them. Um, from an industry perspective, I'd, uh, I'd say I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with uh, industrial consumer products, as well as the back ends and applications that connect them, uh, and certainly the service businesses that support them as well. Well said, Sean. And of course, your background is exactly why we recruited you to lead Charles, Charles Zero's Transaction Services. You have the perfect background for it. Um, so, Sean, let's talk about uh, let's talk about the Transaction Services Group within Charles Zero. So, why don't you, if you wouldn't mind, give just a little bit of an overview for all of our listeners about what exactly is Charles Zero's Transaction Services? Sure. Yeah. I, actually. Um... Explaining our service is pretty simple. So if you think about it, just like Charles Harris Executive Search delivers great talent for our clients to hire, um, Charles Harris Transaction Services delivers great companies for our clients to acquire. It's actually that, that simple. Yep, I love it. I love the simplicity about it, uh, which, is, uh, which is perfect. All right, so let's go back to that uh, earlier discussion, that big question that we talked about that I mentioned earlier, which is, wow, we are in some interesting times, right? So for our listeners, this is March of 2023. Um, Jerome Powell and the and uh, the Federal Reserve have made it incredibly clear that their number one enemy right now is inflation, and so they have dramatically uh, increased interest rates in order to stem off that inflation. That, of course, increases the cost of debt. Uh, that lowers valuations. Sean, right? There's a huge disconnect on average between um, the valuations that sellers are looking for and of course the, the new prices that buyers can, uh, can pay. There's talk of a looming recession that we're dealing with, right? a general feeling of uncertainty. What are you seeing in the marketplace? How are you thinking about that? Sure, um, Chad, um, I guess I feel like we spend a lot of time talking about things in the aggregate or in the macro, um, you know, markets and industries and, and, and businesses. And it's that is extremely valuable, you know, recognizing trends and understanding the environment. But the way I think about it is that deals are done by people and people are individuals with their own priorities and circumstances and their own timelines. And so, you know, the, these articles, and I've read a bunch, you know, they describe and, and foster um, anxiety, uncertainty, worry. And to be fair, they, they also provide comfort, actually, in the confirmation that others are seeing the same things we are. Um, but all of that, when you roll it up, it potentially lowers expectations, and it causes us to think and, and, and doubt and wait. And generally, I think we need to not wait. You know, if, uh, think about it this way. Eventually, at some point, uh, we'll, we'll all look back um, in awe of things that were accomplished during the next recession. You know, Sean, so you're bringing back good memories for me. So I started my career in consulting, right? I spent some time at uh, Deloitte, went to the University of Pennsylvania for my MBA. Then I joined Bain and & Company. And uh, this was drilled into my head at Bain, this concept that you're talking about, which is um, those companies, on average, right? On average, Bain's done this study a gazillion times. On average, companies that invest 
in acquisitions during a downturn always outperform those that didn't once the recession is over, right? So it's the, it's hard to do, right? Because you just talked about it. There's a there's the fear. What does fear do? Fear for most of us has us pause, right? And to uh, to say let's not let's be less risky, right? But in turn, for those organizations that can overcome that hurdle and make those investments, by far they outperform competitors on the back end of the recession. So I, I couldn't agree with you on more. All right. So um, so with that in mind, I mean, what, what history would, indi would indicate is making acquisitions in a time of downturn is that is a very, very healthy business decision if you can do it. Absolutely. And uh, Chad, I might be dating myself here, but um, I've actually worked through four recessions during my career. And I got a few under my belt as well. I got a few <laughs> under my, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, yeah, no worries. So in times like these, I think about fundamentals, you know, head down, work smart and fast. Um, but if, if we think past the brief slowdown of COVID-19, and, um, and that's a whole other discussion. But if we, if we think past that, it's been 14 years since the last time we were in a recession. So we probably have really strong, experienced leaders in our organizations who have never worked through one. And um, so to them, I would say, stay the course. You know? And that's probably stating the obvious a little bit. But you know, we know there's uncertainty. Um, but we shouldn't let uncertainty paralyze us. And there's actually, I'll go even further, there's opportunity in uncertainty. In fact, you know, once, the, uh, once all this uncertainty clears up, um, everyone else will rush in. So now is the time to get great deals done. And you know, our job is to create value. And that's exactly what the market needs from us right now. Create value doing smart deals. And, and actually the fact is deals are still everywhere. They just need to be uncovered by us. All right. So I appreciate that. All right. So that last piece that you just mentioned, right? Deals are everywhere. How, what, how do you know that? What, what makes you say that deals are, are everywhere? What evidence or what have you seen that would indicate that? Yeah, sure. I mean, let me start with, I'll share what our clients are doing, right? So they're, they're moving forward by being very active and open-minded as well. And they're winning by asking us to create more meaningful conversations between them and business owners. And it's that deep engagement that uncovers more productive ways to partner with each other and to land a deal. And so get, to get to your uh, question about, you know, why am I confident? Well, uh, I tallied up the results I'm seeing just in the last few weeks. And just from one particular segment where we're working on creating a new platform for one of our clients, out of 120 business owners I reached out to, 60 of them were willing to have a meaningful conversation. And out of those 60, over 20 were interested in discussing a potential deal. And several of them are already progressing uh, in the process. And, and that's just in one segment. So I would say, you know, of course, you know, do the diligence, use your models, and, and refine your approach based upon you know, the current uh, situation, but then follow your gut and get good deals done. And, you know, I, I would say, Connecting with owners personally on what's important to them, their employees, their customers, and their legacy is critical to getting to yes. And Charles Harris Transaction Services can help you get there. Yeah, I love it. Sean, that's great. That's terrific, man. Thank you uh, for that. So if I'm just kind of doing some of the math, look, if you just get out there and kind of kiss the proverbial frogs, if you will, right? At this moment in time, 20% of those frogs are saying, I'm, I'm willing to, uh, let's have a, let's talk, yeah. right? And not just talk with us, but talk, actually proceed further to actually talk to a potential buyer at that particular time, right? And what I think, what I like about that, Sean, is the other piece that you mentioned is it's not just, you, you know, you can't just make it about the money, right? You know, owners, yes, if someone's going to sell, they certainly need for it to be financially rewarding. But for the vast majority of owners that at least we interface with, there's so much more to it. And there's a trust building that has to occur in order for them to ever get comfortable with you because they want to make sure that their legacy, their employees, their customers, everyone is taken care of even after they're gone or maybe they not, may not be uh, in the same role that they had before. And that trust takes multiple conversations. So start those conversations now and, uh, and that's how you actually get to a yes, right? At the end of the day. You bet. Awesome. John, thank you, man. Listeners, thank you. Really appreciate it. Um, uh, we are incredibly excited about Charles Ears Transaction Services. If you would like to learn more about Charles Ears Transaction Services, you can reach me, Chad Oakley, directly at chad.oakley 
at charlesarris.com. And you can reach Sean Curley directly at sean.curley at charlesarris.com. Thanks, everyone. Happy recruiting. Happy uh, transactions. We'll talk to you soon.